Campo Papa Fernandez and we are on our way to Bahia de Los Angeles, Los Angeles Bay. We're on a bumpy road, so sorry yeah. it's a little shaky. We're on a, a little bumpy road. Um, all of the reviews on iOverlander say this road is terrible. It's not great, but it's totally doable. Yeah, and they're RV. right by saying it's rough, but it's it's two wheel drive, like low clearance, anything can come out here. It's just yeah. a little bumpy. Just gotta go nice and slow. Especially with the trailer. Yeah. Anyway, so we're about to hit the road. We're about to hit the five and head south. We're gonna stop and fill up on water because they have a purification station here. Maybe uh, even fill up with some hose water in the trailer. If I could stop brushing my teeth with it. Um, oh, and then we're gonna also fill up a gas at this Pemex because it's the last gas station between, here, I think it's the only ga gas station between San Felipe and Bay of LA. Yeah, yep. so. Here we go. Yep. Sure. Might as well be filled up. And then I figured that in case there's someone stranded, we can help them out. That's a good idea. Look at that stretch of highway. Yeah, we're a long stretch of the desert. It's a good thing we dropped off. Okay, so we just stopped and got lunch at, I don't know, is it a trucker stop? Yeah, I think it's like a truck stop slash, there's like a tire shop here. There's a guy selling gas out of the back of his truck. It's kind of just like middle of the desert. Pit stop. Pit stop, yeah. Yeah, there's food. We actually just talked to like a group of, I don't know, five or six guys. They're probably yeah. in their 70s. And yeah, they, 60s, 70s, 60s. all driving like in, uh, long distance travel bikes. Okay. Not, I guess I don't know what to call them, but like, you know, the... Not baggers? No, they're not a Harley, but like, you know. Anyways, they, they're they coming all the way from Huntington Beach area. They're going all the way down past La Paz to... To Los Cabos, which is basically near Cabo. Near Cabo, but just on the other side. And they told us about a great restaurant that has been here for like 60 plus years that we're going to definitely have to check out on the way back. Yeah. Um, But super cute. We're very excited. And we're about an hour... Hour 15, I think, away from Bahia, Bahia de Los Angeles. Bahia. I'm Bahia de Los Angeles. I'm attempting to say more Spanish words. Um, we got some delicious flautas. Oh, yeah, let's check them out. They look really good. They come with a little set of rice and everything. Oh, but first, we just drove through the most beautiful desert scene I have ever seen. I've never seen saguaros, acatillos, organ pipe cactuses, Joshua trees, and then this 
other crazy Akatio, it looks like an Akatio family. Um, Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss looking <laughs> like Christmas tree, but all in the same area, which was wild to mm. me. Good? The nice. rice alone is delicious. <laughs> Yeah, we felt a little bad she had to fire up the grill, but... Yeah, I just realized, but I mean, that's what they're here for. And mm -hmm. She makes money, they make money. And then also, like, they're able to sell some products that they bought already, mm -hmm. so... Is there a carne asada? We saw a family of four, a mom and two young children. First of all, we saw a car that was obviously recently just broke down and we're on a desolate two lane road. Like, and there's no cell service apparently in town either. Oh really? Yay. Yeah. Um, anyway, so yeah, we just saw this car broken down. So we're like, oh, well, they must've got a ride. And then sure enough, rolled up on a family of four walking through the desert. They were hot. They were hot. It's a long way. Like it took us 20 minutes in the truck. And that was doing like 50 He spoke a little more English than I did Spanish, but he was really great about me practicing. Yeah. Um, Iglesia, in, how do you say church? Iglesia. In, Iglesia. And his is like the only Iglesia that is not Catholic in the town. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Christian? Mm -hmm. That's so good. I was riding in the trailer with the dad and the two young boys. So we didn't get to film coming in up no, over the and mountain it's and stuff. It's super yeah. beautiful, but, but we didn't get to film yeah, it. Yeah, so what, it, what originally was going to happen was we don't have room. Like, we don't have back seats. The dogs are taking up all the room. The trailer's pretty packed. We just have, like, a sleep pack. So farm. essentially, we kind of, we gave them some water and some chips, and, and then we were like, it seems kind of far. Like, maybe one person can ride with us and get help. And the mom hopped in because she didn't want to be left, you know, mom and two kids out in the middle of the desert. So the dad stayed and I saw the kids' faces and they were literally about to start crying. I think and so. I was like, mom okay, was gonna go. so everybody in the back, Megan in the back, you know, like, so it worked out. We we just rescued them from the it desert. It worked out. And it literally saved them from like three hours of walking. And now we're going to show you the bay anyway.
right, so we're obviously in the uh, Bay of LA, Bejir de Los Angeles, and uh, just taking That's a little beautiful. walk. It's amazing. Yeah, it's like rock, pebble beaches, uh, turquoise water, ton of sea life. At least Pebble Beach is at La Gringa, which is the natural reserve that like we're camped on. Yeah. It's yeah. free and it's really, it's quite beautiful. And right yeah. now there's not that many people here. Yep. But the, I believe the other camps, it looks like there is white sand beaches. Yeah, there's a few other camps that have sand and then even in the beginning of this one, it's a little sandier. Yeah. And then down here at the bottom where we are, it's a lot of rock, but it's cool. Um, anyways, now we're just walking down to the end of the little peninsula that we're kept up, camped on. It goes out a little bit. And we're gonna have to cross a little water to get there, it looks yeah. like. So we have to get to that little spit there. But as you can see, I'm already up to my knees and it gets pretty deep. I might have to hold the phone over my head. We shall see. If it goes further, it won't be as deep. He's not holding the phone over his head because I have it. <laughs> So we found a bunch of these. Oh, we got a light. Um, I have some pretty purple ones. Sea urchin shells. Yeah, Megan found some pretty purple and black ones. And then this is one that had recently died and washed up. So look. Yeah, and Sea of Cortez is amazing. It literally is in the crane. Yeah. And the it, water is, is refreshing, but it's not cold. Yeah, it's not cold at all. You can stay there for a while. Yeah. How cool is this? It is so clear. You can, see, you can see my feet with the camera. That's wild. Right. Making our way back home. Climb up the hill. This rock hill. The dogs are hating the rocks, by the way. Yeah, they prefer the beach. And we're through it. <laughs> Charlie loves watching Jimmy cook.
so glad we my camera. Oh my god. It's so close. Everyone's ready to go. He says, I'll go in the back. Everyone's ready. Charlie's already in front. <laughs> It is 8.30. It is 8.30. We were hoping to leave by 7.30. Yeah, we were hoping to get up and leave, but we were lazy this morning. It was the first morning we didn't get out with sunrise. Funny enough, we are supposed to leave early, but we, we slept good because it was nice and cool. I think that's why. The breeze yeah, the was really cool in. once it kicked in, and then we slept really well. We got a long travel day ahead of us, mm -hmm. about like... About five, six hours? Probably six, six hours. I think six, six and a half. We're trying to get to Santa Rosalia. Um, which we have to actually cut all the way to the Pacific coast. What yeah, is it? Guero, Guero Negro. Guero Negro. Um, if we end up taking too long, we may just stay the night there. And then we head back to the Sea of Cortez. Um, okay. we're supposed to see a, uh, Trace of Virginia, Virgins? Yeah. How you say? Virginia? I don't know. We're Anyways, it's a volcano that's on the way, and then there's a beautiful church in Santa Rosalia, but I'm not sure if we're going to see that today, or we're going to keep going to Mulahe, which is just like a half hour south, and then take a day trip up yeah. to Santa Technically, Rosalia. Technically, we'll probably come back up this way, so we'll have time to see those things we miss. Oh, yeah. Because I was talking to that guy from TJ this morning, and he recommended going all the way up to San Felipe, then crossing over. He said it's an easier drive, there's a lot less traffic. Because it's really relaxing. Yeah, and there so was a few there was a few campgrounds like south of San Felipe, between San Felipe yeah. and the bay, exactly. Gonzaga Bay, that looked really sweet. Yeah, so we're um, down to check. Go back and check. Yeah, and there was some. I remember seeing some really blue water. Anyways, the water should be getting bluer. Uh, Bahia de Los Angeles. It's yeah, okay. Where we're leaving now. It's absolutely gorgeous. Just n not really our favorite, favorite place. No, I think we like our, our sand beaches and a little more isolation. Um, it's all Pebble Beach here, and there's been quite a quite a bit of traffic at night. Um, not too much, but just enough to kind of. Yeah. You know, we had like a bunch of cars pull up last night and they went clamming. About we can't like let the dogs out because of the coyotes, just yeah. stuff like that. So we're excited to move on. Um, Mulahe yeah. is supposed to be amazing. And then we go on to Bahia de Conception, which looks fantastic. Yeah, we're excited for what's up next. So uh, a little bit of a drive ahead, but should we'll be take... awesome. <laughs> We did a little coffee stop, literally in the middle of the desert. Let me just do a little span real quick, I'll come back to you. The gorgeous desert. In the middle of the desert, next to this awesome building. <laughs> Make America Mexico again, it says.
All right. Stop to fill up some gas. Put the dogs out. Get some food. some queso tacos from that little taquera right next to the gas station. They're pretty good. They're, they're all right. <laughs> Nothing to write home about, but something to fill your tummy, I guess. Charlie would like some. Mm -hmm. <laughs>